three medical advice to consider before saying yes to a marriage proposal. Many people are happily married and they wish that this world never comes to an end. However, other married couples share tears on almost every single day. What might be making the difference? Well, I may not be too sure of that, but I think I have an answer. Most people aren't enjoying marriage not because they choose the wrong partner. Neither did they rush into marriage nor are being influenced by parents or anything like that. For all I knew, when they were considering the factors such as love, family background, beauty, handsomeness, financial backgrounds, and so on and so forth, to accept a marriage proposal, they forgot to give attention to one essential element, which is the health status of the partner. For most people who ignore this factor, aren't happy in marriage because they later discovered that they cannot give birth or their children are likely to suffer from one or two recurrent diseases all their life. Imagine rushing your only child to the hospital almost every day. It isn't going to be an easy task at all. If you aren't married yet, I've got you covered. I'll be sharing with you three medical factors you have to consider before saying yes to a marriage proposal. For more teachings about health-related issues and development, subscribe to this channel. Click on the subscribe button on the right bottom corner of this video. Thanks for subscribing. Well, at the end of this video, I expect you to achieve only two things. Number 1. To know three medical tests, if not taken into consideration, can destroy your marriage. Number 2. To discover the effects each one of them will have on your marriage. Now that you know what to achieve after watching this video, let's begin. Let me put a strong disclaimer here. I'm here to teach you what may help. Therefore, I should not be responsible for breaking up with your partner or anything of that sort after carrying out what I see here. <laughs> Three medical factors to consider before saying yes to a marriage proposal. Number one. Think of sickling test. This is a simple blood test used to determine if you have sickle cell disease or you have a treat. Most people have ignored this and seen the bitter side of marriage. How relevant is this test to saving your marriage? This is a great question and I promise to be brief about my answer. You see, during this test, your partner and you have taken the first step to save any of your children from getting sickle cell disease, a dangerous disease that will compromise the comfort of your children and yours as well. Assuming both of you, I mean your partner and yourself, after the sickling test, found out that you don't have sickle cell disease but have a treat. Now, having the treat or being a carrier simply means that you have abnormal red blood cells inside your body but they are inactive. That's why the symptoms of sickle cell are not evident in your body. Unfortunately, you can pass them on to your children. This means that your children are likely to be sickle celled because there is a possibility that they will inherit one abnormal red blood cell from the mother and another from the father. When this happens, the hospital will be your second home. You will visit it frequently to seek medical attention because you won't want to lose your child. On the other hand, testing positive to sickling tests indicates you have sickle cell or you are a carrier. Does that mean you should part with your partner? There is no need for this if one of you tested negative. But if both of you tested positive, you can still see a qualified health personnel for advice. Number 2. Think of HIV test. I know this. You may trust your partner so much that you will either propose marriage or accept a marriage proposal. See, you can't trust what you can't see. What I mean is, you can't tell all is well with your partner just by appearance. Appearance can be deceptive. To be on the safer side, be sure of your HIV status and that of your partner. I can boldly tell you this. Many people have regretted ever marrying a partner after they found out that they were HIV positive. Don't you think it would be best for both of you to go to a qualified health facility and have the test done? 
Even if one tests positive to HIV, half of the problem is solved. Early treatments can be given and both of you can go ahead with your marriage if you so wish. It's better to know your partner's HIV status now than to wait to know after weeks or months of your marriage. Don't wait to be infected with the virus. Trust carefully. Save your marriage. Be happy thereafter. Number 3. Think of blood group. Some time ago, while I was in the hospital, a marriage couple quarreled right in my face. This did happen because the man couldn't donate a pint of blood when the woman needed it. The woman thought it was an intentional gesture from the man. She even went to the extreme saying that the man was cheating on her and wanted her to die so she goes out to the new person. I didn't blame her not because what she did was right. I knew right from the onset that she was ignorant of her husband's blood type and perhaps blood incompatibility. You see, knowing your partner's blood type can save your marriage in that it can help you know whether your blood type is compatible with that of your partner. Secondly, it will help you answer whether or not your partner can donate blood to save you in a critical condition. Before saying yes to your marriage proposal, visit a qualified health facility and have your blood group together with your partners checked. After knowing what type it is, let the qualified health personnel dissect every hidden mystery surrounding these blood types. I think this will help. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know you have learned a lesson from it. Like and share this to help others as well. Please click on the subscribe button on the right bottom corner of this video to have my teachings first. Before I take leave of you, I have other videos I recommend you watch. We cherish your efforts.